It's 11 o'clock, and here's what's happening. New video shows how a convicted killer scaled between two walls to escape a Chester County prison. Danilo Cavalcante has been on the run ever since. The intense search about to enter its eighth day. Tonight, police stationed along Pocopson Road and West Street Road in Pocopson Township checking every car that drives by. Hundreds of law enforcement officers from multiple agencies are looking for the escapee around the clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. Take a look at this map. This is the new search perimeter set up by authorities. It's the area between Route 926 to the north, Creek Road to the east, Hillendale Road to the south, and Route 52 to the west. CBS News Philadelphia's Carrie Corrado has the latest on the manhunt and the timeline of Cavalcante's escape. While the odds are stacked against Cavalcante, he has been on the run for almost a week. Police are hoping to outsmart him as they continue their search in the rural area. Danello Souza Cavalcante used his own body strength to quickly lift himself up from the prison yard to the roof of the Chester County Prison. Officials say he broke through the razor wire and eventually ran free. They say the watchtower guard missed the whole escape. The actions of the tower officer present at the time of Cavalcante's escape are a key part of our internal investigation. Cavalcante is now up against hundreds of state, local, and federal officers currently trying to capture him. He was recently sentenced to life in prison without parole, convicted of first degree murder for fatally stabbing his 33 year old girlfriend back in April of 2021. Police say over time, the endless search for food and shelter will take a toll. I'm quite confident that we're wearing him down. This manhunt all started on Thursday morning at 8.33 when Cavalcante's cell block entered the exercise yard. Almost 20 minutes later, he escaped. Around 9.45, they noticed he was missing and quickly put the prison on lockdown at 9.50. At 10.01, they sounded the prison escape sirens. Police say there have been multiple credible sightings of Cavalcante and they chased every single call. One from a trail camera at Longwood Gardens. A large perimeter was set up and police say they are doing everything in their power to keep him inside of it. Here, officers checked cars. They're hoping their constant pressure day and night will stress him out and force him to make mistakes. As one of the law enforcement officers out there, it's hard enough for them uh, navigating in this, t in this terrain and this uh, hot, humid weather. But imagine if you're being hunted. It adds a whole different level of stress. Police say a canine was taken to a vet for symptoms consistent with heat exhaustion. While the manhunt continues, investigators have a message. We are not going anyplace until we have him in custody. Prison officials say security is being reviewed at the prison. Again, officials want to remind everyone there is a $20,000 reward for information that leads to Cavalcanti's capture. Kerry Corrado, CBS News, Philadelphia.